And what message do you want to share with them? So I would say to the public and private leaders who want to champion change that uh, come and talk to us. One of the things I've learned in my two years at Babson is that Babson may be unique in its ability to engage very flexibly and very uh, creatively with partners, local partners, and local leaders who are sincerely interested in using entrepreneurship as a force for change. So it's, uh, in fact, I've talked with a number of experts who have led what I call entrepreneurial revolutions, and some people like to refer to them as entrepreneurial evolutions. Um, and when you talk to people who have actually done that, it's not, and, and successfully, it's not the incubators, it's not the clusters, it's not the government uh, venture capital that does it, but it's a, a practical, honest dialogue and collaboration um, between the public, or various elements of the public sector, various elements of the private sector, the academia, representatives of society, together with the expertise that I believe Babson has, for example, in how do you create more entrepreneurship, and how do you create the conditions in which entrepreneurship will flourish. So it's that, it's that intimate, deep, sincere dialogue over a sustained period of time that I think is an essential element in the change process. So I invite anybody who's really interested in, in creating this kind of change in their own environment, come and let's start with a talk. Because I think it's very important. One of the things that we don't do is apply a recipe from somewhere else and force it on an environment in which it may not be appropriate. We build from the ground up using our experience, using what we've seen in other countries around the world, but building from the ground up based on the assets, which every society has, based on the challenges, which also every society has, and based on a lot of knowledge and information about entrepreneurship.